Okay, this is chapter 11, section problem 92, and this is a longer one. Butane, C4H10, has a heat of vaporization of 22.44 kilojoules per mole and a normal boiling point of minus 0 0.4 degrees Celsius. A 250 milliliter sealed flasks contains 0 0.55 grams of butane at minus 22 degrees Celsius. How much liquid butane is present? And what if you warm it up to 25 degrees Celsius, how much liquid would be present? So what we have to use here is the clausian caperon equation. And I will point out that there's a really great example and set of calculations that are really similar to this problem um, on page 486 of the textbook, it's example 11.5. So um, you could see that practice problem for kind of a, a similar walkthrough. Nevertheless, here we go. So the, the form of the equation that we need is the natural log of P2 over P1 is equal to minus delta HVAP over R times 1 over T2 minus 1 over T1. And really what this equation allows us to do is calculate different vapor pressures at different temperatures because, you know, we have, we have butane at a different temperature than the boiling point. So it's below the boiling point. So there's, there's going to be some liquid, but we don't know, you know, right off the bat, what the vapor pressure is at that temperature. So that's what we have to do first, is figure out what the vapor pressure is at that temperature. And this is the equation we use uh, to do that. Okay, so um, there's some things that uh, we can pull out of the question itself. So the, um, the heat of vaporization is 22.44 kilojoules per mole. And, um, the, the temperature, the T1, is the, the normal temperature of the boiling point, which is minus 0 0.4 degrees Celsius. And um, whenever you're doing calculations and you have to actually plug in the temperature, you got to convert that to Kelvin. So, you know, pl minus 0 0.4 plus 273.15 is going to give you 272.75. So that's our T1. Our P1, the, the pressure... You know, the normal pressure is just atmospheric pressures. So that's 760 millimeters of mercury. And the, the other thing we got to calculate before we really start the main calculations is um, that T2 um, in Kelvin. So minus 22 um, degrees Celsius plus 273.15 is going to give us 251.15 Kelvin. Um, you got to pick a gas constant. And uh, because they give us kilojoules for our delta H VAP um, and moles, we can use um, 0 0.0083145 kilojoules per mole per K as our gas constant. And, you know, just as they do, as I mentioned in, in that example, <laughs> example A, example, um, 11.5 on page 486, we can do some rearranging and simplification before we find our final answer. So the natural log of P2 over P1 is going to equal, um, like I said, this. So we can plug in the, the value for the heat of vaporization, which is 22.44 kilojoules per mole, and multiply that, or rather divide that by our gas constant, our R, 0 0.0083145 kilojoules per mole per K, and then multiply that um, by 1 over T2. And again, our T2 is the temperature that we're trying to find the new uh, vapor pressure for, which is 251.15. So multiply that by 1 over 251.15, and then subtract that by the T1, which is uh, 1 over or 1 over T1. So that'll be 1 over 272.75. Okay. So when you solve that, it gives you minus 0 0.851. And we can do, um, you know, drop the logs. So when we drop the log on the left, that means we have to, on the right side, we take E and raise that to the power of, you know, what that was. So P2 over P1 is going to equal E raised to the minus um, 0 0.851. Multiply um, P1 
he won by, you know, on both sides and plug that in being 760 millimeters of mercury. So times E raised to the minus 8.51 and solve that is going to give us a vapor pressure at minus 22 degrees Celsius of 324 millimeters of mercury. Okay, so that's the pressure of the gas at that temperature. So what the actual question is asking us is, is there any liquid left over? So we take that pressure um, and plug that into the ideal gas law to find out the number of moles um, of butane that that is equal to, um, and then convert that into grams and go from there. So PV equals NRT is the ideal gas law. So rearrange it to solve for N. And so N is going to equal PV over RT. And um, so the pressure, again, is that vapor pressure that we just solved for times the volume is the total volume of the system, that being 250 milliliters, so that's 0.25 liters. And we divide that by R, which is, um, as I mentioned before, we, we've got that in units of millimeters of mercury. So it's divided by 62.364 liters millimeter of mercury per mole per K, and then multiply that by the temperature. And again, this is the temperature, um, it's like T2. So that's our 251, that's our 251.15. Okay, plug that into your calculator, and that's gonna give you moles of butane in the gas form maximum. And then we um, convert that into grams, um, by multiplying it by its molecular weight, which is 58.12 grams per mole. And we see that um, at that temperature, um, only 0 0.31, 0, only 0 0.301 grams of butane are able to be in the gas form at that temperature, which is less than the original 0 0.55 grams that were given. So to do a subtraction there, and we calculate that actually, um, under the first set of conditions, there's 0 0.249 grams of liquid remaining. So that's half of the question. Um, and by the way that the question was worded, you know, because we started with a lower temperature, then we went to a higher temperature, they kind of gave it away that probably we we're going to have some liquid left over. And, you know, probably just guessing, you know, it's the second part of the question is going to be, there's going to be no liquid left. And that turns out to be true, but we still got to do the calculation. So it's exactly the same, except where we got different numbers this time. Okay, so the T1 and the P1 are exactly the same. The delta HVAP is the same, but now we have a different T2, which is uh, room temperature or, or you know 298.15 Kelvin. Again, the R is the same. So really the only thing we're changing here is this, uh, this T2 where we're raising it now to 298.15 in our calculation. That does change this number right here um, and subsequently the rest. And what we'll see is if you plug this through and work it through, um, the vapor pressure now is much, much larger. So at 25 degrees Celsius, now the, the vapor pressure, the ma which is the maximum pressure uh, available to the butane is uh, 1766 millimeters of mercury. Um, so, but we still have to go through and see if we have enough you know, butane to, to make that amount of pressure. Plug it into the ideal gas law, just like before. Um, so the number of moles is gonna equal that pressure times the volume divided by the, um, our, gas, our gas constant that we chose times the, the temperature. This is another place where um, the calculation is a little bit different this time. And we see that now we're able to have uh, significantly more moles of butane in the gas form. 0.0282 moles of butane. Ma again, that's maximum. Um, and if we multiply that by the molecular weight of butane, 58.12, we can we see that actually um, it's 1.64 grams of butane would be in the gas form in a 250 milliliter uh, sealed flask, which is more than more than we started with, right? We started with 0 0.55 grams. So because we have, um, we actually have less butane um, total than is able to be in the gas form due to the vapor pressure at that temperature, in the second scenario, there in fact is no butane in the liquid form. Yeah.
anyway, uh, as I as I mentioned a couple times, really the um, a straightforward um, explanation of this, in addition to just what I've provided, is uh, on page four eighty six of the textbook. It's it, it's example eleven point five. So good luck.